my name's Danielle Skrapita and I'm um, at the School of Chemistry, a senior lecturer working in the area of medicinal and bioorganic chemistry. So we work in the area of deep sea natural products. So deep sea natural products are um, simply the natural chemicals produced by deep sea organisms and um, deep sea is often defined as deeper than 1,000 metres but for our purpose when we talk about deep sea natural products we're referring to deeper than 50 metres just to look at everything that's beyond the depths of scuba. So the recent discoveries in the last five years there's been 188 um, new chemicals that have been discovered and of these over 60% of them showed very strong and potent anti-cancer activity so where they killed um, cancer cells specifically over normal cells. So the types of organisms that we're looking at or that are, are we found to be producing these things are things like sea cucumbers and, uh, and these have been extracted to discover compounds that are active um, against multi-resistant ovarian cancer cell lines. We've also got deep sea microorganisms that are showing very potent activity um, against breast cancer and a fungus that's also showing um, very potent activity against leukaemia. The, the difficult thing is how do you get there and you need uh, special equipment to be able to dive deeper than 50 metres. And so we have started a, a project called Serpent with the oil and gas industry. And how it works is that um, we collaborate with the oil and gas industry to use their remotely operated vehicles, these called ROVs, and all oil and gas companies will have them to do maintenance on their um, oil platforms when they're doing exploration and for different purposes. We collect the samples and then very carefully bring them to the surface through whatever depth we're collecting, whether it's a thousand metres or 200 metres. So when we work on them, we, we then at that point can treat them the same as any shallow water sample because the difficult bit has been accessing them. Um, now we do what are called extractions where you, um, you homogenise or macerate the sample and then use organic solvents to extract out all the organic soluble material, um, just like making a cup of tea. So you've got your tea bag and your hot water and you're extracting out all the tannins and all the caffeine and different things in your tea bag. In that same principle, we can extract out the organic chemicals using an organic solvent rather than hot water. So why are we doing this research? Um, our, one of the main areas of focus in our research is natural products. And what a lot of people don't realise is that actually at least 50%, if not 70% of the drugs that are on the market today are of natural origin. And uh, many of the cancer treatments available today are actually derived from plants or bacteria. So we had thousands of years of knowledge about plant-based medicine. We've only had 40 to 50 years of access to the marine environment to start looking at um, new treatments from the marine environment. And now if we go one step further to deep sea, we're really talking in the last sort of five to 10 years with access to this um, sort of very uh, high, high tech equipment to be able to get down into the deep.